Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be talking about the reasons why I decided to cancel my Bank of America savings account. Now, I have had my account for over 10 years and with that account comes a checking account and a savings account with Bank of America. When I came here as a student from Nigeria, I didn't really have a choice. I didn't really know much of the banks around. So I just went to the nearest bank to my location and I signed up for an account. Now, over time, I've always kept that account active and I've used it for the purpose, you know, saving some money and using some of the, some of the money in the checking account for daily transactions. However, as time went on, I realized that I would often have some limitations as to maybe number of withdrawals from my savings account or number of transactions I could make through that account and also the fees that comes with it. For example, if I say went over my transaction limit for the month, I will end up getting charged a fee. So I held on to the account for as long as possible, just out of uh, convenience and not wanting to try something new. Recently, I've realized that it is time to actually move on because I realized that Bank of America and others big banks in general, they are not catching up with the new trends and the new development in the industry as a whole. The first reason is the minimum balance requirement. Now in this account, this savings account, you're required to have about $500 of savings left in that account untouched. If you spend and you go below $500, by the end of the day, you'll be charged about $8 in fees. And this is ridiculous. According to statistics, high number of percentage of Americans can't afford an emergency of $400. So if a bank like Bank of America, that is pretty big and well known, is requiring that we have a $500 in our account and not use it, or if we use it, we have to actually replace or replenish or at least transfer some money back into the account and make it up to $500 by the end of the day. It seems very ridiculous because in my opinion, $500 is a lot of money. And uh, in case I run into an emergency, I should be able to use the money that I saved for that purpose to meet the emergency needs. But then these banks are obviously creating all these rules, making lives more difficult for us pretty much on the money that we saved. And mind you, if you transfer your money to a bank, these banks would often use this money to meet their own needs as well. So they either loan your money out to other people and charge high interest rates and give you almost nothing in return. And then they put in extra stipulations and restrictions on this account to prevent you from using your money. So it is something that is very ridiculous and I don't think it should be legal in any way, but just my opinion. The next thing is the interest rate. Now, if you're familiar with Bank of America or if you've taken the time to look at the interest rates they give on their savings account, and I'm just going to throw a random question at you if you could try, could you guess what the interest rate is at this moment? Well, it is 0.01%. Now, what would that really get you? 0.01%. You know, that is nothing. So at the end of the day, you put in your money, your hard earned money, saved up in the savings account that is supposed to be used to meet required needs when, they, when, when it develops, like an emergency. But then the bank is telling you that you cannot use that money because if you dip below $500, you'll be charged. So the point is, these banks are putting out these restrictions and then giving us a very low interest rate. So that's something that I do not really like. And mind you, if I put in about $2,000 in my account and I only get, you know, almost nothing as interest, then it's very discouraging to even save that money because you end up losing your money to uh, inflation. The third reason why I decided to close my Bank of America account is due to the ATM locations. In my area, from my home, I do not have any Bank of America within one mile of my location. In fact, the nearest one is about five miles away. And I, I'm in a city, like I'm in the middle of a city. So the problem with this is that at the end of the day, if I need to even withdraw some money, I would have to drive to go find an ATM to withdraw some money. And it's just very difficult and inconvenient. Just to give you some perspective, I recently talked about Robinhood cash management account. If you want to check the video out, I'll link it above after this video. And I remember, you know, activating that card because I get I got a debit card, I activated the account and I uh, decided to check for nearest ATMs and I found three ATMs within one mile of my location. Now I have to say that these ATMs are in-network ATMs, so they are not 
Robin Hood ATMs, if that makes sense. But the point is, these ATMs, they won't charge me anything to use them. So it is very, very convenient to have such a debit card at hand because when I need that quick cash, I will be able to get the money out and, you know, meet the demands. On the other hand, with Bank of America, I would have to go five miles away to get, you know, my money. And the last reason is overdraft fees. Now, as a student, you know, just barely making any money. I remember I, wa I was in a situation where I didn't have enough money and yeah, I fell for, I think one of a draft fee that I got. And I was really pissed at that because obviously that wasn't something intentional. It was just a, you know, when you have those sudden bills that came through and you just didn't really prepare for it, you know, and that's what happened to me. So I got charged that fee and it was about, I think $35 per transaction. These cards or, or accounts should be protected or designed in that way because they should be protecting the interests of the customers, not the interests of the bank because the banks would often want to just, you know, put all these fees on us and make all this money from us through our mistakes or just lack of knowledge. If you have found value in this video, if you found some information in this video, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and also consider, you know, sharing this video with someone that might find value in it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel. Again, this is just something I decided to share with you guys. I've, I just thought I might find value in it.